Varanasi, an endless maze of narrow streets, it is a city constantly bustling with activity. From shops and hawkers at every corner, to vehicles both big and small, to the cows, goats and dogs, everything forms a part of the organized chaos that is the fabric of the city. The streets open up into the 84 ghats that stretch across the banks of the Ganga, where the peacefulness poses a stark contrast to the commotion of the streets. Thousands of tourists and devotees alike visit the ghats daily to take boat rides and bathe in the holy waters. But very few know of the basket weavers of Varanasi. Away from the more commercial and religious areas, the Telianala and Sakka Ghats are a quiet section of the Ganga almost untouched by tourist activity. The two Ghats are home to the Khevat community of Toki weavers who perform the labor-intensive process of weaving baskets every day. The weavers have occupied the Ghats and turned them into a kind of machineless factory of their own, using the open surroundings and the resources of the Ganga to their benefit. They sit on the steps of the ghat from morning to evening weaving baskets and passing on the half-finished basket from one person to the next until they achieve the final product. Although they have small houses in the streets right behind, the ghats are their second home, a place where they eat and chat while the kids run around playing and at times help with the work. It is mostly the women of the community who practice the process of weaving baskets from start to finish. The knowledge and skills have been passed down generations of women, from the grandmothers to the mothers to the daughters and daughter-in-laws. The men of the community focus more on procuring the raw materials and selling the finished products. The money they earn from selling the baskets goes into running the household, though that is not always enough for the whole family to survive on. The women weave two types of baskets. The traditional round hemispherical basket, locally known as khachia, and a flat one known as jilli. The weavers on the Sakka Ghat make more of the round baskets, while those on Telianala Ghat specialize in making the flat ones. Both type of baskets come in various sizes and are used mostly by hawkers to display their wares. The baskets are made of two types of material, rahar and falsa. The men bring bunches of these sticks or bati in vehicles from fields in Mirzapur, Ramnagar, Kakri and Babua, which are situated in UP or the nearby state of Bihar. The sticks are bought in the winter months of November and December, which is when they are harvested. The men and the children help in cleaning the sticks. Any small branches removed until they become smooth so as to not hurt those weaving. And yet it is hard labor. The hands and feet of most of the women weaving the baskets have become rough and worn, and some continue to weave despite the bandages on their hands. Once cleaned, the women carefully balance the bunches of sticks on top of their heads and carry them down the steps. With some difficulty, they drag the heavy stones lying on the banks of the Ganga and place them on top of the bunches to keep them immersed. They pick up another bunch that has already been soaking for one or two days and carry it back up the steps. While still wet and pliable, they hand the bunch to other women who begin the process of weaving. To make the round baskets or khachia, they start by taking sets of four sticks each and placing them on top of each other in a radial arrangement. Then they put one foot on top of this arrangement and use their body weight to hold the sticks in place. They take two separate sticks and twist them to give them more tension, 
Then weave them through the arranged sticks until the base of the basket is formed. They use a curved saw-like tool known as hasua to split the remaining sticks in half. Then with deft hands, use these split sticks to weave the walls of the basket. They ingeniously weave the sticks so that the bark forms the outer wall of the basket and the exposed split part forms the inner wall, maintaining uniformity. The weaving is interrupted from time to time by kids who roam around playing with the scrap pieces of sticks and the goats who keep stepping on the carefully woven baskets. Once the walls are made, the women bend and interweave the radially arranged sticks to form the rim of the basket. They use the hasua to trim the edges of the interwoven sticks and then hammer them into place. Finally, they cut off the excess sticks and tidy up the basket. The whole process from start to finish hardly takes them an hour, a speed that comes from having practiced the craft for years. The flat baskets or jilli follow most of the same process, except that instead of having walls, they consist of a large base and a rim. Here, the split sticks are only used in one concentric circular section in the middle instead of the whole basket. The process also includes an extra step where the women stand on the finished baskets in order to render them perfectly flat. Both the finished baskets are then sold off in markets, where they are used by vegetable sellers, flower vendors and other hawkers to display their bears. The Khevat community continues to carry forward the legacy of basket weaving, an art that is as intertwined with their lives as the spirals of the baskets they weave. Oh,